play with it a little bit. You know, sometimes you gotta play with your camera a little bit first, figure out what it likes, and then it will love you. Hey everybody, uh, it's Elizabeth here, and in the spirit of Valentine's Day, I wanted to make a nice romantic meal for you guys. What's the most romantic food ever? A chicken salad, and we'll put it on some bread, and we're gonna call it a sandwich. Because the art of sandwich eating involves your hands, just like love making. So clearly this is the food of the gods. You're gonna be a regular Adonis. We are gonna start with the thing that all cooks start with, which is a toaster. We're making chicken salad, so I hope you enjoy this. And I hope I'm looking at the camera. I really can't tell y'all. Making some chicken salad for you uh, because it's Valentine's Day, and Valentine's Day is the day of love. Unless you don't have anyone to love. That sounds awful. Let's not say that. Let's say Valentine's Day is day to show love. Right, yeah, that's nice. Valentine's Day is a day to show love. So whether you have a lover or a friend, show them love. What do chickens represent? When I think of chicken, I think of just like a really dumb animal. Some breads here. Oh, this looks nice. This is a multi-green bread that we're going to use here. You see this? Watch what I'm doing. You follow me? You smell what I'm stuffing in? When you're making bread, why do you make one end really tiny and one end really big? It's confusing. Kind of. You're never going to get two pieces that are exactly the same because you just not. Which look and smell very nice. Um, yeah, so if you're on a no carb diet, don't eat this. So we put our bread in the toaster. Set that aside. This chicken in a can. It's like cat food for people. And I was really hungry. So I made this chicken salad sandwich and I'm like, dang, this is amazing. I should make this every day for the rest of my life. I didn't do that, but it was a really good thought. Okay. Cat, you're gonna get down. Get down. You have your chicken in a can that has now been taste tested by your cat. You're gonna put your chicken in a can in your bucket, you think. Ooh, it's so delicious. I have some moose tart, some mustard, it's some um, Arizona heat for a slightly sweet stone brown mustard and bite of the Southwest. That's what I want. Just just put like a little bit, like maybe a little bit. It, I think I put maybe half a teaspoon in there. And now I have my mayonnaise. And this is light, guys, because we want to keep it nice and we want to be healthy for our lovers. So you gotta wait for that to cook. So we're gonna mix this. This is the part in Food Network where they always tell you a nice story about their childhood and how their grandma made this for them. My grandma didn't make this for us. And this is not a recipe from my childhood. And I didn't come from the streets to become a cooking chef for you guys. But I did make this whilst being a college student with no money. And I was very hungry. Don't eat you with fruit in it. Sliced cheese is actually preferable in this case, but we don't have sliced cheese. And we actually had some bean sprouts, and I added bean sprouts in the chicken mix. Oh, it was delicious. That was really good. Bean sprouts. Oh, bean sprouts. D. Gray Man. Bean sprouts, right? I put the cheese on the bread. Why do I do that? Because the bread is hot. And so it's going to slightly melt the cheese. So on one side of the bread I have a sprinkling of cheese and on the other side of the bread I put a little bit of lettuce. Because we gotta have lettuce in there because that's what my mom told me. So this is what we have right now. Cheese 
and this. It's like the two sides of the yin and the yang. Your chicken and your lettuce and your bread and your cheese. Okay, you smush them together, you make a little love sandwich, and you have chicken salad sandwich. sandwich. Ooh, that doesn't look bad. So this is your sandwich now. You like it? Thank you. That this has inspired you to make a lovely Valentine's meal for your sweetheart. Um, go out and conquer. Um, have a wonderful day. Um, eat. Eat bean sprouts. So yeah, happy Valentine's Day. You're welcome.